sales isn't canned, but it's important to have a script. Sales isn't random, but it's important to be able to read and react in the moment because it's a performance-based thing, right? It's just like playing a sport, right? You'll learn plays, but like you have to respond to how uh, and what things are happening on the field, right? So there's a bit of both about what's going on that you've got to be good at. You've got to be able to stay on script, but you've got to be able to read what's going on with your prospect and react accordingly. That is a hard thing to train. I don't know if it's possible to train it. Um, you ca probably can through a series of listening to these calls, practicing it yourself with somebody to do mock presentations with, um, and kind of learning to react. But it's something that, you know, for me personally, I've developed uh, as an agent through just years of doing it, right? And teaching it's helped too. So the po point is, we cannot take that for granted. We have to ask and follow up uh, with a question to get more detail and context, because we need that to hook them in, to emotionally get them to want to buy, just as much as they logically say they do, right? Because we know there's more coming. There's going to be a price to pay to commit just like there is with anything in life. There's a consequence, not gonna have as much money because you gotta pay it on a premium. And for anybody to do that, they have to be emotionally committed, right? If they know, if they really believe it's important and that's what we're trying to help them to do with these questions, um, then they'll buy. But if they don't, then they'll end up like JR's call where the client just like, was well, she just had some interest and pulled away and just wasn't really interested because she never really was. Hooked. So Hannah and I was kind of like a, a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I directly addressed it. It's for me, it's been hard to train that. It's it's like I train it better in the moment as I hear it and kind of I point out it's part of the reason I think coming to the calls are good because then I'm like, hey, you see that? What did she say? That's kind of really interesting. Like, don't let that one go. You gotta, you gotta follow up. You gotta have this like unyielding sense of curiosity about people. And you you just have to always question everything. And and what you'll find is more information, more urgency, many times more emotion. I'm purposely engaged in the process of, of, of explaining or showing, then you will lose attention. More important for telesales, because in, in person, you can look somebody in the eyes, you can physically engage them and they'll reciprocate. It's hard to like not respond to that and, 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 and be engaged when the person's engaging you, like to go sit like this you know, or like scroll on your phone, you can have, you can do your pitch. And I'm just here scrolling Facebook, looking at my text messages, playing Candy Crush, right? But it sounds like because I'm not saying no, or whatever that I'm engaging. Okay. So the, the rule of thumb here is if you're doing telesales, every 10 seconds, if it's, if it's sound, 10, 15 seconds, it's a feel thing. If it's been quiet for a while, you need to say, does that make sense? You got any questions so far? Engage them. Is that right? That's crazy, right? And literally just shut up and listen. Wait for them to say something. Are you there? Okay, just making sure you're still there. Okay, great. Like really test them. Tell them, it's like you're giving them things you want them to respond to. You want there to develop a pattern where they're going to engage and you're going to ask them as much, right? It's totally not cool for you uh, or the client to lecture for more than 10, 15 seconds. Uh, you will lose people all the time, okay? If they're not going, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, then you need, to, you need to manually make it happen. Does that make sense? Any questions so far? So far, so good, right? That stuff.